Welcome back. For our fourth custom data structure, let's take a look at hash tables in JavaScript. A hash table, also known as hash map, is a data structure that is used to store key value pairs. Given a key, you can associate a value with that key for very fast lookup. At this point, you might have a question. Do we not already have objects in JavaScript for that very same purpose? Well, the answer is yes. JavaScript's object is a special implementation of the hash table data structure. However, what you should know is that the object class adds its own keys. So keys that you input may conflict and override the inherited default properties. But hang on, we did learn about the map data structure which overcomes these shortcomings, right? Again, the answer is yes. Maps which were introduced in 2015 allow you to store key value pairs without the shortcomings of an object. And to be honest, that is what you should use when writing code. But here is the bottom line. Although JavaScript already has two hash table implementations, writing your own hash table implementation is a very popular JavaScript interview question. And that is the reason I wanted to give you an overview of hash tables and also implement the same in JavaScript. Let's proceed to the next slide to understand how we would go about implementing it in JavaScript. I mentioned that hash tables store key value pairs. For example, n is the key, India is the value, au is the key, Australia is the value. We have a few more key value pairs as you can see. These need to be stored for fast lookup. If I specify the key as n, I should get back India. Typically, we store the key value pairs in a fixed sized array. But we know that arrays have a numeric index. How do we go from using a string as an index to number as an index? This is where a function called the hashing function comes into picture. A hashing function accepts the string key, converts it into a hash code using a defined logic, and then maps it into a numeric index that is within the bounds of the array. Once we have that index, we store the value. The same hashing function is reused to retrieve the value given a key. So a hash table supports three main operations. Set to store a key value pair, get to retrieve a value given its key, and remove to delete a key value pair. Here is a simple visualization of the hash table data structure. You have the keys which get hashed into an index and at each index, the corresponding value is stored. Now, what are some applications of hash tables? Hash tables are typically implemented where constant time lookup and insertion are required. Common examples are database indexing and caches. All right, now that we have an overview, in the next video, let's implement the hash table data structure in JavaScript.